Seg P322. Torx TS22 competition. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with the Sig Sauer P322 versus the Taurus TX22 competition. They have some similarities, definitely some differences, and I have quite a few rounds through each. The TX22 competition is mine. This belongs to Ryder at Ryder's Range, and he allowed me to review it, shoot it, and now compare it. Clearly optic ready, he's got a bull armory red dot on there it ships with a plastic cover plate it does have fiber optic rear sights fiber optic front sight very nice ergos all right feels great very common with sig sour it's got that indentation in there that, that just gives a nice overall feel but this shines with 20 round mags that that's good and they offer two mags you can see it has a rail there forward serrations it has a flat trigger now this is actually a trigger shoe and it also comes or it comes shipped with a curved trigger but they include in the case a flat trigger the trigger is very light it's a single action trigger three and a half pounds with your reset right there the p322 was met with excitement the the mosquito that sig had a while back just didn't cut it it wasn't what a lot of people had hoped it would be. This To disassemble, you lock the slide back, move that lever up, pull back and out, and you'll see it has a fixed barrel, fixed recoil spring, and an anodized aluminum slide. So it is very light, it's a lightweight gun, and to put it back together, just like that. SIG P322. The Taurus TX-22 competition also has a great feel to it. it. has that indentation much like the P322. It has 16 round mags and a nice grip texturing. Feels really nice. Both have ambidextrous thumb safety. So I didn't mention that with the P322. This has a 5 inch barrel. It is exposed on top where the slide is cut out. I'll explain why they did that in a minute. This also has a trigger shoe. It comes with that curved trigger. We'll show clear here. And I am measuring the trigger weight with this right at four pounds. It has a very short reset, shorter than the P322. The advantage with the threads here is that you don't have to put an adapter on. It comes with a threaded barrel, all right? So you just take that thread cap off and you're good to go. Three dot sights. Now you'll notice with the more traditional mounting system with the P322, here they have the mount on the hood of the barrel, which is really interesting. I never saw anything like that until they came out with this. I said, that is cool. I have a Vortex Venom on there and it is really cool. Also has a pick rail right there. I already mentioned Ambi Thumb Safety and forward serrations. I've come to love this gun. And it has the lower, if you like the lower on the TX-22 with the 4-inch barrel, it basically is the same lower. They, they changed out the upper quite a bit with the 5-inch barrel and the, the threads and the way it, the, the slide is cut. But let's check this out. So you're going to pull the trigger and you're going to take these tabs and pull them down. And then you just pull it off just like that. Now the reason why they kept this open like that okay very Beretta like is because you remove the barrel and the optic from the top of the slide all right that's how you have to do it you can't do it any other way and then what am I doing here and then you just reassemble just like this you put this on as such and then you charge the slide 
both very nice handguns. I've enjoyed shooting both of them side by side, and they're both really accurate, and they're both very nice with the, the red dots equipped on each of these. TX-22 competition. Some of the similarities include higher capacity mags, 20 rounds, 16 rounds. Both offer threaded options, thread, uh, thread adapter, threaded barrel, 5 inch barrel here, 4 inch barrel here, both right around $425, 400 to 425 somewhere in that range, and both are optic ready. It's going to boil down to your preference, you know, if you want the longer gun, this is made for competition, and I will say, that short and light trigger is super nice. This flat trigger is really nice as well. I don't think you can go wrong in either of these. I would choose either of these over the Glock 44 and many other 22 handguns out there, especially because they are striker fired, which doesn't isn't a deal breaker for me, but they do offer 20 and 16 round mags, which is super nice. Both very light triggers. Disassemble is different. I showed you that. Uh, both great ergonomic feels. Both have rails, forward serrations, and a different look to it. Let's check out the, the barrel difference right there. So that's quite a bit with the five inch barrel. And then you can see the, the grip length right there, about the same. So do you trust SIG with the fine reputation or if you have you come around to Taurus who's pr producing some great guns these days? Well, let me give you my thoughts. I'm trying not to be biased here because I've had this. It's performed great. I really appreciate the TX-22, the original and the TX-22 competition. Both can be shot suppressed. I already mentioned that. And I think SIG did a great job. But I'm not at this point willing to give up my TX-22 competition for the P322. I think it's a quality gun, a little am ammo finicky, and any 22 could be ammo finicky. Let's just face it, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the nature of 22 from what I've seen. But this one has been a little, more, little bit more reliable. I've got more rounds through it, so that, that stands to reason why I would say that. I think both are great, but if I had to choose one, I'm sticking with the TX-22 competition. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.